baby, let me tell you. Shh, shh, come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. Bobby done got a little friend, child. Yeah, they went to the movies today. Baby. schedule is so off I really haven't been doing anything so I want to say this summer break kind of sucks it seems like I'm just in school mode all the time thinking of new ideas and so on and so forth so I'm not really enjoying it I'm gonna try my best to make it down to the beach um, a couple of times to read and and have that reflection time that peace so that is on my agenda but we had a little setback and then we had some rain and so on and so forth. I hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful 4th of July. And I hope you all enjoy your summer if your kids are off or if you're off or if you're an educator. And just enjoying the warmer weather while we have it. And, I, you know, rain doesn't really bother me. We need the rain and so on and so forth. So, but when it's a little too much, when you flooding stuff up in Texas. <laughs> So I want to give a shout out to Navea, a sweet, sweet little pudding pop. Hi, Navea. Mm -hmm. Navea has a disability, but she's so sweet. Oh, she's so precious. And her mom says she perks up when she hears my voice. <laughs> and so that's 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 just wonderful news you know even though i don't have a thriving channel but as long as i could touch the lives and spirits and the souls of one or two people or my fab five you know i'm okay with that and you know i'll continue to you know do videos as much as i can as long as you guys want them so anyway like i said before um i keep i'm trying to get to this um we had a setback but it could have been worse. And I'm just gonna show you the footage of what happened. So Bobby was in a car accident. Bobby's fine, Bobby's fine. And this little angel of a lady was there with Bobby the whole time until I got there. Bobby's fine, no injuries. It's just very, very, very shaken up. And um, her car is messed up and I'll show you a clip so you don't of have that no um, shortly. Oh, right there. <sighs> One step forward, two steps back. But that's okay. And I and I told Bobby, I said it could be worse. Um, at least you weren't hurt. The car could have been totaled. You know, um, you she could have been so injured where it ended her basketball. You know what I'm saying? I was like, so it was a blessing in disguise. So, you know, don't worry about it. As long as you're okay, we'll we'll figure it out. Just like we've been figuring everything else out for her 18 years. Mama been figuring out. Has it been rough? Yes, but we'll figure out a way. It's not the end of the world. Just another setback. So, so guys, I had to go back and get the police report for Bobby's car. She is upset and crying. The hood is jacked up, but it does drive this part too so um i dropped the police report so i had to go back because it was in my back pocket with my phone so now we're getting ready to call the insurance people the guy didn't even say i'm sorry nothing but the guy got a ticket so he got the citation which will speed things up and she's so upset but i told her i said this could have been worse it could have been car but it could have been flipped over car could have been totaled I was like, and, and honestly, I made her drive home from the site because I didn't want her to be afraid. I said, no, you are driving back home. You fall off that horse, you get your tail right back on. So I made her drive back home. I drove with her because she, you know, she was still upset. But um, so now I'm getting ready to go in the house and give her a pep talk and look at the positive side and the bright side of things. She still has her health. She didn't get hurt. She didn't hurt anyone else. The other driver wasn't hurt, but they weren't kind people at all. Right there. Yeah. Oh no, it's not. Yeah, I did correct. Yeah. Bless her. She's upset. So now that you've seen that, I want to show you 
um, what I've done to my room is not clean. It's not messy, it's dirty. I need to vacuum, I wanna get the carpets clean and so on and so forth. But it is what it is, I wanna throw, throw out some stuff. It just, it just seems like my motivation just hasn't been there. And it seems like I'm obsessed with teacher stuff and I'm working on a new product. Um, hopefully I'll be able to share that with you and hopefully to give some encouragement to students and to parents to help I don't know, it's not new, so it's not like I'm recreating the wheel at all. And so I can't wait. Um, I'm still working on it. So <laughs> I was up to four in the morning. That's why I, I get up late. I stay up late uh, working on it. Now I have to go get Sydney. Sydney's been in Florida for the past week. And then she'll be home for a couple of days. And then she's off again um, on a mission trip. Um, I think they're going to refurbish homes and stuff for the needy and so on somewhere in san antonio so she'll be doing that for a week she hasn't sat still but let me tell you she's ready to come home she's like do you miss me i was like i feel a little bad after i said i said girl bob you get home you act like you don't want to stay home you be out in the street so she, she she doesn't like to be home at all she feels like she's she's gonna suffer from fomo fear of missing out so she's never home anyway so I was like, girl, bye. As soon as you get home, she probably unpack her clothes or not. And then she's going to hit the street again. Girl, bye. <laughs> Did you miss me? You're not home when you're home. <laughs> but she's ready. And she asked me again. She said, do you? I was like, of course I miss you. Of course I miss my buttercup. <laughs> so anyway, let me show you what I've done. And I'm going to do just a few minor tweaks to my classroom. And I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> and they're just minor so oh and I'm gonna show you a project when I get to it that I'm working on for my classroom I'm just doing some chairs again so this is what I've done to my room to get my I just feel like I need a space as you guys know first I designed this space uh, for like my studio and then I was like, I ain't really doing nothing with that. But I felt like I needed a space for my creative juices to come out. I just didn't want to work for my bed anymore. So I got this desk and I've been working. So I wasn't cleaning this up. <laughs> I've been working. Um, so I have this space here. And I have stuff on the floor. I wish it was a bigger desk. But it isn't. And so, I designed this little space. I got the desk from Ikea. And Bay Daddy put it together for me. And I got the plant from Ikea. And you all have seen my little wall and how I did the wall and stuff and then I was going to use this chair instead of this chair but this chair was too low and the kids like to come in here and tell me about their day so they have more seating and then I took this bench from the kitchen and I brought it up here because we weren't using it anyway and then this is stuff for school and I Bay Daddy came up with a good idea. That was the um, lockbox from Connie Chow <laughs> when I had my chicken in it. I don't know if you guys saw that video. So I'm going to use that as an escape room for my class. And so that is the little tour of my little workspace. And first I had the desk in front of the window. But then I would have had to scoot the bed over. And it just really wasn't enough space. I thought it would be great to look out the window as I was, you know, thinking, coming up with ideas. But my creative juices have started to flow from this area. And um, so that's why I'm excited about this new little thing I'm working on. Um, like I said, I'm not reinventing the wheel. It is my style, my theme, my little swag. But they exist. So I'm really, really excited about it and I hope it does well and I hope it helps parents and students. And so, um, and it help everybody be, the goal is to help everybody be accountable. So I'm excited about that. So hopefully in, in a couple of videos, I'll be able to talk about that. 
So I've been working away. I mean, I had to break out. Some of you know that I've had a company that I had for eight years doing graphic design and took me to Hollywood. And so this flash drive or this where you keep documents, this is so old. And I was like, Joy, time to break out your old files. <laughs> so I dug this out and plugged it in. I was like, how was I organizing stuff? So it was like thousands and thousands upon different graphics and things like that. So it was it was pretty exciting bringing that back out, getting that creative juice going again. Cause I was looking for some type of product. I still wanna do my little butter dishes, but they do take a long time. And nobody is really gonna pay um what your artwork is worth because you're giving part of your soul you, you your time your energy your craft your creative thinking no one's gonna pay for that and i just feel as though oh i done spent like five six seven hours on that and somebody wants me to charge twenty dollars i just i just can't <laughs> and this is another reason why i got out of my graphic design business people don't want to pay you your worth and I knew my designs were fire, honey. What? What? Yes, they were. Um, if I get around to it, maybe I'll show you a few. No, I got, I got, maybe I'll link some of my, uh, some of my images or I don't know. I'll see. I'm not sure. So that's what's been going on. I've been doing planning and this is the first time in history, in my educational history as a teacher where I've been um ready to go my lesson plans are done for the first um for the first nine weeks done i know what i'm doing i haven't gone gone through the micro parts of it like the step by step but i know the plans are done test dates are done everything purses i am like on cloud nine i joined a teacher group um, so that's been great. I planned with them for two full days. Um, I think we got 10 hour of professional development. I don't know if they'll honor it, but honey, we went on it for two full days from nine o'clock to three o'clock. So my time, it was 11 o'clock to five o'clock. Mm -hmm. We were planning. Um, it's called batch planning so i got lots and lots of great ideas i'm super excited for the new year so i can feel myself rambling right now so i'm gonna go um in a few minutes i have to go get sydney from the airport she's coming back today uh it's just so much to do it's so much to do <laughs> it's like every summer i get to a point where I want I have all these grandiose ideas of purging and cleaning and scrubbing and this and that. I don't even do it. I don't even know what I did last summer. I know what you did last summer. <laughs> so I don't even know. And I was a little cold. I was eating ice as usual. My ice cravings came back. Nothing has changed. And that's what the doctor said. If um for those of you who don't know, um, I'm severely anemic and I had a, they wanted to do a blood and iron transfusion and I declined the blood, but I got the iron transfusion. It was a six hour process because it was my first time. Ice cravings gone, gone. I had a little more energy, whatever, but baby, about seven, seven months later, cravings back, um, losing blood by gallon. This terrible. <laughs> terrible so um got my little cup of ice over there oh just talking about I was making my mouth water but baby let me tell you shh, shh, come 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 bobby done got a little friend child yeah they went to the movies today baby baby yeah you ain't hear that from me because you know I'm not going to tell her this. You ain't hear from me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make my nerves bad. <laughs> but the rules are the rules. 
you keep your legs closed you wait for marriage or you wait as long as you can and i'm telling all business but this is our first our first little mm, i said you kiss that boy bobby she says no mom no she says not like that so i don't think she's that she could be lying but i don't think she had a first kiss yet but she could be lying and dear god it better not be anything else i lose my mind mm -mm. wait for marriage because honey i told her i say you mess with these little boys next thing you know two three weeks the next cute little girl walk by and she's in the right place at the right time he didn't mess with her too and you don't gave up something so special to somebody who didn't deserve it no so I've been preaching that since they've been a little, been little, little. Sydney, she still hasn't had a date yet. <laughs> so, but I'm like, focus on your career, your life. Get your life, honey. You know, boys, they're going to come and go, honey. Mm -mm. Get your life. Do you first. And make sure you have your own and don't rely on no man. I've been preaching that to them. You don't rely on no man for nothing. Mm-mm. You know it's cute. You know you you have your kids. You stay at home a little bit, but make sure you got your own as well, as well. Not like he's the only the end, end all be all. No, no. Have your own little purse. Have your own bag. Have your own stash. And the left hand does not always need to know what the right is doing. What? Okay. Maybe I'm wrong, but hell, that's what they're gonna do. Get your own bag first, boo invest in some stuff start a business and you know i always have i've always had a business mentality did anything succeed no it did not it did not but baby rest the short i tried and i'm gonna keep trying little things I, the, the spirit hasn't hit me since i ended my last company nothing came to me and spoke to me but this little thing is speaking to me a little bit to help these little babies so hopefully we'll see i don't know but, um, look, I'm going to end this video here now because, you know, this is getting kind of long. All right, y'all. <laughs> Leave your comments um, below and let me know um, what you think. I don't know. I didn't ask y'all a question, but leave something anyway. I like reading the comments. It lets me know y'all love me, y'all care about me, y'all watch the video. But, you know, sometimes, see, ooh, I'm rambling. But, you know, listen, listen, calm down. But you know, sometimes when y'all comment, especially your old video, and you just say, oh, y'all, I like what you did. I want to say, what did I do? Can you add a little more detail? Because y'all know I've run my mouth. You know I have the talking problem, right? So sometimes when I'm talking so much, I done forgot what I said 99,000 videos ago. <laughs> so you're like, oh, I like how you said such and such and such. I'm like, oh, okay. And sometimes I'm like, I, I don't know what they what they're referring to. I don't remember. And I'm not going back to watch the video. <laughs> All right, y'all. I can feel myself rambling. I have to go on a college tour with Sydney. Um, have to take Bobby to school. Have multiple, multiple trainings. And so many other things. So it's like summer is over. I'm not all the way done with plans. But baby, this is the furthest I've been in my entire career and I'm feeling some kind of way about that sis I'm feeling some kind of way <laughs> now if I could just give me some medication oh Lord Jesus cuz my brain is feeling kind of <laughs> all right y'all bye y'all